Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Let's see. We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have the King of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The Lovers. Oh, no, that's not the Lovers. That's the Ten of Cups. Sorry, guys. Clarify the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Cups in reverse. Oh, my gosh. Tell me about the, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Hanged Man. Pisces energy. The Devil. Capricorn energy. And the Seven of Cups in reverse. Oh, <sighs> bless this person's heart. Well, if you thought somebody was done with you, if you thought something was over for good, you never hear from this person again, there would be no further developments when it came to a situation. <sighs> some of you guys may want this, some of you guys may, may not want it, but I hate to tell you, it's not over. And this person, somebody is like, I, I see that tail between the legs energy here, like coming back with a tail between the legs, like somebody's returning here because they're, they're in this energy. Somebody's about to spin the block. I don't know how else to put it. Someone's about to spin the block. I feel like this is somebody that tried to, they were trying to like, how do I explain this? It's almost like in their eyes, you guys were in competition. Who could hold back the longest? Who? Because this person was refusing to compromise with you. They were refusing to work as a team with you because of their ego. They were holding back from you and say they wanted they, things their way or the highway. And if you wouldn't conform to what they wanted, then they. It's like. This person's in turmoil too, guys. They're very like emotional over something, but they're about to return to you. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Yep, this person is about to return because they see clearly now. They were in some type of illusion or they weren't seeing something clearly. For some of you, they had options or they explored options. And now they, they're able to, now they see clearly that you are the one that they feel like they could have their ultimate happiness and fulfillment with. You are the Ten of Cups. With them. Like, but this person is still toxic, though, guys. I don't know. I don't think this person has changed with the King of Cups in reverse and the Devil. They're still toxic. They're still emotionally unstable. They're still emotionally unavailable. All right? Still very self-centered, withdrawn. They could even still have some type of addiction or toxic attachments or something like that going on. But it's not over between you and this person. This person could either be moving on from somebody else or think spirit is saying that things are going to improve. Yeah, the situation is going to improve, it looks like here. What does this mean for my collective spirit? The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, the Five of Wands. See, what is this? The Tower in reverse. They've been doing a lot of thinking about something here. <clears throat> and it's like they finally have made up their mind. I still don't. What does this mean for my collective? The Empress in reverse. The Ten of Wands. Okay. I see you, this person's about to get rejected here because they haven't changed. It's like a very clear 
straight to the point message. This person hasn't changed. What is um my collective seeing that's making them feel this person hasn't changed? See, yeah, the high priestess reverse. It could also be that you guys just feel like this person, you just have a lot of doubt when it comes to them now. It's like, a, there's like a lack of trust between you and this person. So even if this person was coming towards you with totally good intentions, you guys would probably still be either guarded or reject them. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you guys feel like things have gotten better for you since you stopped dealing with this person. And you're just like afraid of messing that up to give this person another chance or to let them back into your life. All right. Okay, so I feel like there's nothing else in the tarot that we need to take a look at. Um, the tarot is straight to the point. Spirit, tell me why this is coming through for my collective this week or today, this weekend. Why do they need to know this? I told exactly playing the field. <laughs> yep, cheater player keeping things open. I told you this person. It's almost like this person's realizing that they don't want to have options anymore. They don't want to be single anymore. Now this person's thinking about marriage and union and having a baby and all that shit. After they went out there and they played the field or something like that. Tell me more. Shadow work. Okay, so they have, they've got, yeah, personal growth, self-awareness. And work in finances here. Okay. Can't be trusted and stringing along. Yeah. Can they trust this person? Second chances, right. Can they trust this romantic gestures? Okay. And bad, see bad habits. No change. It's the same message. Can't This person can't move on from you, though. So in a nutshell, what's going on here? As you were dealing with somebody that wanted to keep their options open, they they weren't ready to just completely settle down with just one person when you were dealing with them. But they were stringing you along because they probably know that you, let's see, they felt like you were very different from what they were used to. Why were they stringing them along? Guilt and regret. And taking action. They're not telling me why exactly. It's like they wanted to keep things surface level for now. But they always saw you as the one that they wanted to build, start a family with. Didn't I just say that? They, they saw you as the, like the, the type of material that they could settle down with. Just be monogamous with. Have a baby with. Have a family with. Move in together. Live together. Get married. They, they knew that you guys could be a perfect match. But they were trying to keep things surface level. Because why? <laughs> oh, didn't I say that? Pride getting in the way. Yeah, they want it. Refuse it to budge. Want to be right. What do they want to be right about? Yep, marriage material. Checking their message. Why? What were they being prideful about? What were they being prideful about? Grit by obsession. This person doesn't like want you to know that they're freaking obsessed with you. It's like they don't want to completely surrender to these feelings and emotions that they have for you because that makes this person feel weak or something like that. Because this person has always saw you as the total package. They're always checking your, their phone to see if you've messaged them. Like they're always waiting to hear from you. They're literally obsessed with you, fixated on you, feeling very attached to you. They feel like they weren't expected to meet you when they did. I don't know, guys. It's just like, this person's been doing this for no good reason. Like, I wish there was, I could tell you that there was a reason for this, like a good reason. There isn't. This person just is like, not wanted to like, be like, oh, I find, I've fallen in love. Emotions are weak and falling in love is weak. Like, they've been literally 
resisting this for no damn good reason. I don't know how else to put it. They also are like, what is it? They don't want to, they don't want to be wrong about what? It's just like. Yeah, what about dilute the truth? Trust your intuition. Yeah, what are they not being honest about, though, spirit? Not on the same page and no second chances. Yeah, like this person knows that they're not ready for what you're ready for. And I feel like they try to come in and manipulate you to make you think that they are just so that, you know, you let them back into, into your good graces. But this is just a means to try to control you or control the situation. They're not ready. Yeah, they're still in this energy of not wanting to open up. Yeah. They're still figuring things out. They still need to make room in their life for you in this connection. So just know that if you let this person back in, they're still going to be very wishy-washy. They're still going to be very hot and cold and sending you mixed signals, okay? Um, I feel like there's this lack of, you don't, you already don't feel like you can trust this person. I do feel like they are trying to work on themselves, to be honest, with shadow work. And they're also trying to improve their financial situation. That's like what they're heavily focused on at this time. But as far as you go, they know who you are to them. They just don't want you to know. It's so weird. Like they just feel like if you know that they're like head over heels in love with you, that you have some type of power and control over them or something like that. Like it's, it messes with their ego. This is how, this person has a hard time with emotions and feelings and love and I don't know, guys. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> I just love how these cards just like slipped out like this. <laughs> so this player who had all these options or thought that they wanted to keep their op, you know, play the field or whatever, and thought that maybe they could find something better. It says the player lifestyle. So it's like almost like they started getting back out there. I don't know if like for a while they were like not really trying to put themselves out there or date or whatever the hell was going on, but it's like they're realizing that, like, when they try to, like, have these multiple options and entertain multiple people at once or whatever they're trying to do, it's, like, not even exciting. It's not fun. Like, it's boring. It's grown very boring for this person. It doesn't feel like when they're with you, okay? So it says, the player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. So, like, what happened here, guys, was that you met somebody while they were literally in this player energy. Like, when you met them, you probably didn't know that this person was, like, entertaining, like, five other people. Or, like, they were, like, in this energy of, like, like you know, you met them and you were, like, you know, you maybe started talking to them and everything. You didn't know this person had no intention of committing. They had, they weren't even thinking about commitment, okay? I don't know what they, they were just wanting to, like, have their op, cake and eat it. I don't know. They wanted their options. I don't know. They wanted to be a player. And then they met you and they found somebody that they had real emotion for. They saw themselves settling out having a Kevin kids, a family, all that shit with you. But then they were just like, I don't know. They were having, they're having a hard time deciding about whether or not they want to completely leave that lifestyle behind. But now it's getting to the point where that lifestyle that they once lived before you is just no longer, it don't feel the same way. So I don't really know what happened between you and this person. There was almost like a power struggle or something between you and this person. And I feel like this person felt like they couldn't control you or they feel like they couldn't get their way with you. So that's probably why you and this person could possibly be in separation right now. But they're about to come back because they're about to get back out there and start trying to go back to how they used to be. Or they're going to try to go back to being a player. I'm, what I'm kind of almost getting is that this person never really stopped being a player, but they also wanted to have you too. Like they still were doing something. And I feel like they weren't wanting to tell you the truth about that. So they want to be a, still like hold on to the player lifestyle and also have you at the same time. Well, I feel like 
you don't trust this person anymore and I feel like you're no longer entertaining this with them. So now they're just left with that, the, you know, they're, now they're just left with their options and they don't like it. They're realizing that you are what they wanted because now they don't have you. How do I say this? So they were thinking they wanted to have their cake and eat it too, right? They thought having you and these other options or whatever was what they wanted or that was what was going to fulfill them. But then once you took yourself out of the equation, they're left with just that, the other, the latter, right? And they, oh, they hate it there. They hate it there. So they're like, why was I ever holding on to this? What I really wanted was the collective because the collective is gone and I feel like shit. Like I feel so unfulfilled where I'm at. So it's like it's making them realize that like what they always really wanted was you. That other situation wasn't adding any value. Other situation or situations was not adding any value to their life. It's like this person's feeling stupid because they were like, why was I? I would have been, you know, sabotaging things. I've been messing things up with the collective. Um, for this. <laughs> Oh, what I'm saying makes sense, guys. Like, they they feel so stupid because, like, they were holding on for dear life to this old player lifestyle, and you left them to be with their options or to go back to being a player, and now they're just like, what is this shit? <laughs> they're like, this is what I was holding on to? Like, this person couldn't. It's almost like this person couldn't tell, like, if it was you that was making them happy or both of the, both things at once or if it was this other situation. So that's why this had to happen this way. I know you guys are like, no, this, I know some of you guys are not going to like to hear that. But this for this person to gain clarity about who you were to them, they had to go back to just, they had to go back to what they thought that they wanted or that you had to leave them what they thought that they wanted to hold on to. Remove your presence so that they can see what if see if that other situation that they're holding on to for dear life that's keeping them from fully committing to you and compromising with you and all that stuff is worth it. Because and it's not. They're over there like shit. What did I do? But yeah, we have mixed signals. That cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you they're not totally sure if they're into you or not. And we have hopeful. They are opening themselves to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. Yep. <laughs> leap of faith. Yep. Now they want to take a leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. Exactly. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. <laughs> Oh, now they want to put their pride aside. Look at this. Wow, guys. You guys are taming the player. You're taming the beast. You make them putty in your hands. You're melting this person. They have no... It's like they're about to surrender. Yep. They were wanting things their way. They're like, I'm not I'm not going to leave this. I'm going to give you what the hell I want. Like, they were in this prideful energy where they're like, oh, I'm going to do what I want at my pace. And I'm going to keep entertaining these people. And I'm going to do what I want to do. That's what they thought they were going to do. But they're like, you're like, not with me. You're not. You're not going to keep playing me like this, so you make them putty in your hands. They know their old concrete ways will not work with you. You have telepathy. <laughs> the telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints upon their heart. Battle of the Wits. Did I just say this? I told you, there's been a power struggle between you and this person. Until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. So it's to some degree, you guys are guarded, but for good reason with this person. Yeah, it's like they're realizing that whatever their fear was when it came to you was not even warranted. It says they are afraid to trust and get hurt. So this is somebody that maybe got hurt really bad, and then they they just vowed that they were going to be a player. Like, after that, they're like, I'm not going to settle down with anybody. I'm going to keep my options open. I'm going to always have more than one person because one person broke their heart. Or they just have maybe childhood wounds for some of you. But you were not the one to do that to, okay? Because you literally had genuine love and care and feelings for them, and they just let their past experiences sabotage this. 
The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. It's like almost like this person like just they vowed that it's like almost like they like they didn't want to get hurt or taken advantage of like they did in the past. So now it's hard for this person to be open and vulnerable. Like, you know, again, it goes back to pride, them being prideful, them not wanting anybody to let anybody too close to them to hurt them. And they did that with you and they didn't have any reason to do that with you. This person needs to realize that you just need to use discernment when opening up and being vulnerable with people. You don't just open up to anybody. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything else in this deck. We have unseen factors. So it says there's more to this love story, though you cannot see it now. There's still much more to unfold. And we have past life. It says, it's, wow, guys, this person knew that you were the one from very early on meeting you. It could have been from the first time they saw you. It says their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they've been waiting for. And they fucked it up. All right, guys. They like they sabotaged this. Letting their pride and their past experiences and all that stuff mess this up. Now that this person is watching you, too. They're trying to figure out what you got going on. They know they want to give you something solid. Yeah. For some of you, they are going through an ending. I'm going to be honest with you. They are going through some type of ending. Why is ending here? I got to see. <laughs> we have passion ignited. What's to do with an ending? Coming apart. So, like, there could have been an ending between you and this person. But all this ending did was, like, make them realize something about you. It, like, actually made them want you more. And it says, meeting you was unexpected, which I said. You change their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lose their old identity. And it says their intense sexual desires towards you is making it hard for them to know the dis difference between lust and love. So this person feels like probably what happened before is that they they feel like they have a hard time. Like they don't trust themselves anymore because they thought that they loved somebody, but then they maybe realized it was just lust or something like that. They have a hard time discerning between the two. But we also, this person definitely likes sleeping with you. Yeah, their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. Yeah, they're deep in, they see potential in you. Yeah, they're deep in their thoughts about you, realizing their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential in you. Gesture, you can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection. Give them a chance to prove themselves. Yeah, they just definitely have been re um, re resisting this connection. I feel like this person in the past chose to let you go. Or to let things in between the two of you. Versus actually giving you, like, going all in with you. They would have rather just, like, ended things with you than to make the decision to go all in with you. <laughs> At some point. Or this is what's current, what the current situation is. I'm going to get a few of these. And then I am going to take it over to the extended reading. All right, so we have the pain of our separation is tearing me apart. I don't know how to handle my feelings and emotions. Instead of working through the pain, I use and take whatever helps me feel numb. Lord. We have Gemini. I wasn't always there when you needed me the most. Instead of trying to comfort you, I would jump shit before. I <laughs> Didn't I just say this? Kind of, this is what I was kind of just saying. It says, yeah, I would jump shit before I could. Be, why can't I read this card? Instead of trying to comfort you, I would jump shit because I couldn't deal with my emotions, let alone yours. Yep. For some of you, it is a Gemini. We have. Uh, yeah, this already came out too. Our differences drove us apart and it angered me that you didn't understand where I was coming from. It still pains me. We can't come to an agreement, even if we love each other. Te telepathic again it says i feel you through everything the things i touch the images i see and the voices i hear we are connected throughout this universe even if we are miles apart and we have mirroring nature great source of reflection and growth willingness to understand and genuinely connect they show you your deepest fears and insecurities and shadows through action one more and we have yeah see i told you this isn't a person that's in another situation or ending something else I am connected to my karmic partner due to responsibilities. I want to face my issues head on and work through things before I return. I know it's not easy, but I'm trying to try my best. Oh, my God. 
And we have courage in reverse or whatever you want to call this. It's not really in reverse in this deck, but it says, I don't care what it takes, how long it takes, who I upset. I'm going to return to you one way or another. So, <laughs> yeah. They definitely have somebody else or they're like connected to a karmic partner, karmic something, an obligation, responsibilities. They're attached to somebody because of money, assets, children, whatever it is. But they're trying to get that situation sorted and situated. I definitely feel like they're ending that situation. They're walking away from something to return to you. All right. 